Hey guys, let's talk about how to teach the, uh, the invitation and challenge matrix. How do we teach this idea of invitation and challenge? So uh, the easiest way for me is to start with Matthew 5. Uh, Matthew 5 through 7 is the Sermon on the Mount. And it's really amazing because Jesus uh, perfectly exemplifies what we want all of us to do. And that is he, he calibrates invitation and challenge in such a way to really get maximum impact. Most of us are not getting maximum impact most of the time. So, uh, so this is how we talk about that. So Jesus, um, you know, a lot of people just think of Jesus as Mr. Rogers. And so when they read the Sermon on the Mount, it's like, oh, man, like that's that's weird, right? Or sometimes they think of him as uh, they think of God as just really being hard on people and, and just judgmental. And so then when they read about Jesus, they go, man, he's so inviting. It's amazing. But um, but an easy way to teach this is just to use uh, the simple matrix of invitation and challenge. So invitation is on your vertical I and V challenge C H A is on your horizontal, or I guess that's also Charlotte Airport C H A. But um, but invitation and challenge, and so I usually it it depends honestly. I'll start wherever it depends on who I'm talking to where I start. But most often I think I start up here. Um, I start with high invitation, low challenge. What do you have if you, if you have a situation with? High invitation and very low challenge. You have Mr. Rogers, right? That's Mr. Rogers right there. Cozy. You have a cozy environment. And um, and for a lot of us, this is what church is, right? Lots of lots of feel comfortable, not a lot of push. And so a cozy environment um, is good. It's better, better than this. We'll get there in a minute. But it's not everything it could be. Now, part of the thing that you see uh, is that we'll... we'll use this tool to look at individuals, to look at groups, to look at churches. You could use it all the way around. But a cozy church, if the ch people in the church are cozy, usually it's because the people that are running the church are stressed, right? And so uh, if, what does it take to run a cozy church, that, a church that doesn't challenge everybody, anybody? Well, it takes a few people that are getting challenged like crazy. So if the, if the congregation is cozy, then the staff is probably stressed because they got to do all the work. <laughs> Right, and so um, so if you have high challenge and low invitation, so we're high challenge, but we're low invitation, then we're stressed. Now, what do you have if you have low invitation and low challenge? Right, so if you're down here, well, I think the person I learned this from used to say asleep or coma. I just like dead. I mean, if you're at a church, for example, that's low invitation and low challenge, no one will come. Right? The church is just going to die. If you're in a small group and your small group is low invitation and low challenge, it's, it's awful. If you're leading a uh, serving team somewhere and the work is easy and they don't get thanked, the work is too easy to be worth doing and they don't, also don't get thanked for it, there's no relational piece, they're like, why, what, why would I come? So this is, um, <laughs> avoid this at all costs, I'll just say that. So, uh, But what we really want to see What we really want to see is high invitation, high challenge, and that's this idea of breakthrough. What would it look like for you to be in a situation, and you've probably, you can probably think of things like this, like in your own life, and I would actually point to one of those when I'm teaching. I would say, man, my ninth grade basketball team, oh, my, I had this, uh, I had this teacher that got more out of me than, they ever, than any, other, any other teacher ever did. How? They had high invitation and high challenge. Man, my parents were great at this. You know, my parents or or I had, you know, when I was in college or my first boss or whatever it is. Like there's somebody that you um, interacted with that had figured out how to calibrate invitation and challenge in a way that really got the most out of you and you experienced breakthrough. And so um, we really want to get like right up here, <laughs> right? Like that's the goal is, is uh, if everybody in our church, if all of our relationships were high invitation, high challenge, you'd be like, man, that's awesome. Uh, the problem is, it's really hard to just go like this. It almost never works that way. In fact, we don't even, we don't even see that with Jesus. Usually with his disciples or with people that are listening to him, he's kind of doing one of these things where he's like, he goes over here, and then he goes over here, and then he's going back and forth. And sometimes it's way, but, then, but he kind of narrows in to where it, it hits finally there. And so invitation and challenge, when you're trying to calibrate that, it's not a one-off. It's not a one-time thing, probably. It's probably this ongoing piece where sometimes you lean more on invitation, sometimes you lean more on challenge. Usually, not 100%, usually you need to invest more in invitation first before you can 
lean on challenge. It's just really hard to um, to challenge someone that you don't have a relationship with. Or it's easy, but it's hard to do and get anything good out of it, right? So if you're just a drill sergeant dad and you're just all about boom, 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 then probably what your kids need for breakthrough is not more challenge, even though you're like, well, I just this is what I do, so I'll just do it more. Probably what you need is to figure out how to add more invitation into your relationship with your kids. Or if you are, um, if you're a small group leader and you're just, man, my group is so cozy and we just love each other, but nothing gets done. Uh, one of my mentors used to say, it's like a box of puppies. Everybody's just looking at each other. Nothing's getting done. Uh, if you're, if your small group is a box of puppies, uh, then you got to figure out like, how do we bring more invitation here? Um, now, so what that a lot of times looks like is, uh, I mean, you probably need to lean in here first and then go this way. The problem is if you're already up here, it's very difficult to just go here without breaking somebody's neck, right? Like you're just going this way and then the whiplash will just throw them right off the bus or right off the boat. So you really, um, unfortunately, a lot of times when you start adding challenge, what happens is the coziness quotient drops faster than the challenge increases. And so a lot of times what happens is you end up taking a dip like this. And this part here, uh, call that the valley of the shadow of death. Right, so uh, so sometimes when you're trying to take an existing cozy group and move them into a more challenging area or an existing cozy church, it, sometimes the challenge increases and it drops the coziness faster than than you actually get into breakthrough. But one way or another, whether you're going this way or this way or this way, the goal is to get up here and experience a lot of, it, of invitation and a lot of challenge. So uh, it's worth it. This is a real simple thing. Teaching it takes two minutes. Well seven minutes, but you know, you can teach it quickly, but, uh, it takes a lifetime to figure out how to use it. And so I would encourage you to call, fall back on this regularly. Uh, just call this out regularly when you see it and be thinking in terms of some of the people in your group or in your huddle probably, um, go here naturally. And so they need to be encouraged to go up the invitation ladder. Some people are high invitation naturally, and they need to be encouraged to figure out ways to, in, uh, include more challenge. So that's it. Uh, invitation and challenge. Just put the invitation on top, top challenge over here, uh, cozy, dead, stressed, and breakthrough. And then just figure out what, um, when we look at scripture, what do we see Jesus doing that's either bringing invitation or challenge? And then when we look at our own relationships, what's it? what do I need to do to get up here? Do I need more invitation? Do I need more challenge? What do I need to do? How do I play those off against each other? What's the right amount at a given time? If you can do that well, you're just really, really going to be an effective leader and, a def and an effective discipler. So that's it now, for now. Invitation and challenge. I'll see you guys soon.